Lapli ya ka booking nak benta ka kali tata Nexon. Wan ka Frank Motors Lightco, nani phone hau number harum, man pip company Wemily Galiang Pursha Naga Voice of the People Party VPP Uba Aden Miller Basayomai Ula Ong Bakaladrang Jingpan Kenya Kaan Kindo Kamigalia Transfer of Land Regulation Act Shajar Kandaispa Nyopu R Kabrika An Kabakangi Kibriuna Barkajala Banti Jaka Aganiki Jala Badbunrap Kasorkar Kala Pintlop Yaganiga An Abawanra Yag Resolution Hapoki Yang Dorbar Mentagasi Palay Wemily na nong krem ula pun pao yek jing snow kya na mar ka jing sha pun keng ka an kendau jung ka jela bat ula ong ba ka rai jung ka sorkar pa kan a jaka hado sausan poin nori wei akar ha new shulong cha ki officer is ka rek jing pun keng ya ka migalia transfer of land regulation act cha jar ka nice pa nyo bu a ula ong ba ha ka kendai trik u nai lar jung ka snem a ra jar nyo ka kun hun mentri ka la shim ya ka rai ba na a jaka ya ki a is officer ki bam day na ka ni ka jela cha new Long Township, but Hakate Gapor, Umentri Katrat Pinroy Sor, Ula Munjur Ban Ajaka do Southern Point North Iwe Akar, Shaka Civil Service Officers Cooperative Housing Society, Dagabasu Tang Katkandai Lak, Nrupo Hajan, Ruspa, Lipan Rutinka, Kabamut, Lada Kenya Kador, Haka She Square Put, Kashongdor Tang Kumba Shitinka, Uba Arden Ula Ong Shushu, Badangshen, Kaladon Gijing Persang, Ban Pun Kenbian Yaka Land Transfer Act, Hakaba, Kaladon Gijing Turan, a Prenki Mintri, Kasor Karjala, Bansha Yaki Doctor, Banashabar Jungjala, Ban Ti Jaka Hamigalia, Bandupla, Ban Pundian Yaka Jingdunaki Specialist Doctor, Ban Pundrap Bagan. Kan rong kijing ma, but om day satya the lele ru bansha. Ulong bagi don shibun kijaka, but kendo kibala ai, shaki wake it not trikam, kasorkar India, kabakentop yaka kendo, shanehu, negrims, ICAR, airport, kishipai, but kikarkana, but nagani kijing ai yaka kendo, kajala, kaklem yo jingmentoi, aa, penman kini kijaka, kikala long kijaka, ban piangi kibar jala, ban bso kle, hangi, hamigalia. Wemily Galiang Persha, Rateru Yaga Jingdi Jaka, Hapokarat Marwet, Haribohai District, Bala Dumpti Da Usiem Karat, Bat U Ong, Ayuka Sorkar Kale, Yaganiki Jing Punken Yaka An, Habapanchai, Haloganika Pang, Bala Wanda Duba Arden, Umintri Bakmi Yakatna Land Revenue, Uba Kermanchala, Ulapuli Yaki Kendon, Jonga Mighalia Transfer of Land Regulation Act, Jejar Kandaispa Nyopu R, Bat Punpao, Ba Umdan Satya Jing Punken Yaka An, Hagani Jingatai, Umentri Ramba Kajalaru, La Pinchai, Bakasorkar Kalabut Rinti, Yakaan, Rinkar Kijing Boot, Yaki Hukum Jokayin Bisha, Balada Dun, Kibalap, Bagadong Kijing Punken Yakaan, Kilaban Budu Shakayin Bisha, Bad Benda Bakasorkar Kan Chim Kiaru Yakamak, Kabala Wanra, Du Emily Galiang Persha, Nakalang Uba Arden, Ubam Hun Yaka Juba, Bagajing Punchai, La Kuntai Ban Bang Yaka Resolution, Kabala Plong Yaw Lampang, Ban Snap No Yaka Surki Baboon, Hapoka Yang, Bad Baboon Kila Punpao, Bakim Kirshan, Yaka Nika Resolution. So, I would like to thank the Honorable Minister for his reply. And there are certain issues that I flag during my submission, sir. And that is the or chase of land by other tribals, which is very rampant, especially as I've mentioned, in the southern part of the state. And because you know, sir, human nature, human nature, they will try to find a loophole. So what they're trying to do, because I have also brought to the notice of this August House the observation of the Supreme Court, as far as the rights of other tribal in, from one state in another state. So, which is clear that no other tribal from other uh, state can uh, uh, get the benefit in terms of lands or any other benefits that the tribal of Meghalaya, pertaining to Meghalaya, are getting. So, so, since this is rampant, so may I request if the government can consider, because there is a loophole that these other tribals, they are trying to purchase land by way of getting a PRC, by way of getting a PRC to prove that they are the permanent residents of Meghalaya. So it is very easy, sir, to get a PRC in Meghalaya. I have here with me the application form when uh, anyone would like to get a PRC in the state of Nagaland. There are many particulars that the applicants will have to fill in this three pages form. Whereas in Meghalaya, they need only, through the office of DC Deputy Commissioner, only one 
page where only two passport size of photographs, birth certificates, uh, residential proof, like epic ration, certificates of all institution. And there's no mention here about the role of the village dogma. But when it comes to the application for PRC in Nagaland, it is, seems to be more stricter than, the, than the Meghalaya. So, sir, I think if we can uh, block this loophole, we can prevent the alienation of land in our state to uh, other tribal coming from other states. And, sir, I would also like to, uh, because in the course of uh, his reply, the minister has mentioned about the role of the district council. So we have to understand that uh, when it comes to the role of district council in transfer, the district council has no role as far as transfer is concerned. And this has been uh, even uh, observed by the Supreme Court, that district council is not mandated to make law on transfer, only for management. So we are not here to discuss about the management of land, we are here to discuss about the, the problem of transfer. So, and uh, uh, since we are a, a full-fledged state, sir, we have to also understand that we cannot uh, bring in the, all the provisions of the six schedule. Because when the government of India decides to give us a full-fledged state, on that very day itself, they have inserted para 12A in the constitution of India, which is the overriding power of the state government. So therefore, we should not find excuse that this is the jurisdiction of the district council and uh, we have no uh, jurisdiction at all as a state government. By para 12A, this is an overriding power that the state government. Therefore, we need a uniform law throughout the state, sir. We do not have to have different uh, legislation in different uh, autonomous uh, councils, sir. So, sir, my request uh, for the government is that if the government can pluck these uh, loopholes as far as the issuance of PRC is concerned, they can make more stricter because any tribal who wish to be the resident of Megale has to, uh, you know, ready to sacrifice being the resident of his uh, state, sir. So, so if I can get that assurance, because there are many ways of violating the Land Transfer Act. There is a, you know, a practice that even power of attorney also is being used to transfer land from a non-tribal to another non-tribal and from a non-tribal, I mean from a tribal to a non-tribal, sir. These are the two con main concerns I would like to uh, raise before the minister and if the government can assure that they will look into it and make more stricter then I am willing sir to withdraw my resolution. Uh, sir, uh, I'll just uh, put some more light on the reply that was given by the Honourable Minister. Uh, so first uh, I just want to just stress on the fact that uh, uh, the Honourable Member has been mentioning about uh, violation of the of the act, sir. So, so what we are stressing on in our reply is that uh, there is no violation of the act as such, because uh, any violation of any act, so the constitutional provisions are there for the judiciary to be approached. So, therefore, uh, violation as per se of the act and the provisions of the act are not there. People have used different provisions for different uh, ways and means. There's a different issue, but the but the violation in itself of the act is not there. Uh, and I'm not saying that it's been done. Uh, I'm just referring to the Honorable Member's uh, statement which he mentioned. So therefore, sir, I think first thing we need to clear that, uh, that the Act itself is not being violated. Provisions are there and based on those provisions, different purposes have been served, whether it's the education issues or industries issues, all in all cases where uh, there has been an issue of a non-tribal or uh, any organization coming in, it is based on the provisions which is very much in the Act whether through the original act or through the amendment. So that's the first part. So the second part is uh, regarding uh, ensuring that uh, this uh, entire issue of uh, uh, the PRC uh, that has to come in. Uh, sir, uh, we are all of, uh, aware, sir, uh, for the purpose of uh, a land as such, so the PRC is not uh, a document that is used. It is more, PRC is more for sir, uh, issues like education in all these areas the PRC is used. Of course, they may ask for the certificates and all. Those details are not with me as of now. Uh, but for purchase and sale of land is not done. Uh, a, a PRC is not uh, uh, as such a, a document uh, and is not really applicable in that line. But uh, sir, I think the concerns that he is raising, concerns sir, we have noted sir. 
And uh, yes, there are different areas which is mentioned that there are concerns. And, uh, and I think as a, as a member in this August House and uh, as a citizen of this state, uh, obviously, sir, we all share those concerns. And uh, definitely, sir, the suggestions made by the honorable member uh, and including the other members also had participated. So we will uh, note all of it down. We will examine all these areas. Uh, whether PRC is the right way to do it or whether we have to see the definitions in the uh, things. So we can examine all those matters. But as I said, from the primary resolution that was passed, so as I said, I would like to stress again that there's no uh, question of any violation of the Act. But as I said, uh, the suggestions made by the Honourable Member concerns have definitely been noted. Uh, we are also all, obviously all concerned about uh, issues when it comes to the rights of the, of, uh, the tribals of our state. And uh, definitely, sir, we will examine all those matters as mentioned and find the best way uh, possible on how we could move forward in these issues, sir. So, may I know the mind of the mover, please? Sir, uh, I think I stand by what I have stated in this, uh, this house, sir, that there is a violation. Uh, I don't know why the government is in a denial mode. So many people are purchasing land in Riboy district. Those who are not supposed you know, to be covered by the Land Transfer Act. And I have, I have a copy with me also. These are the people who have purchased land. So many people who have purchased land. So therefore, there is a violation of this Meghalaya Transfer of Land uh, Regulation Act. I don't say that the government is violating, but the people, the people, you know, how can they purchase land when they are not the tribal pertaining to Meghalaya? And that is rampant in Ribhoi district. So I stand by what I've uh, stated, sir. But uh, I also like to express my thanks to the government for willing to uh, examine the points that I have raised. So, sir, therefore, to say that there is no violation of land, uh, violation of land transfer, I can make it, is, I think, is ill-informed, is not correct, sir, on the part of the government. There is, sir, I have copy with me also. I can even provide uh, this uh, copy to the government, sir. So, you are withdrawing? Or? I want to hear from them. Uh, sir, I have uh, I, uh, just like to read the provisions uh, in the Act itself, where it defines uh, tribal uh, and means a person belonging to any of the scheduled tribes pertaining to Meghalaya, as mentioned rightly, and as specified in the Constitution Scheduled Tribes Order 1950. And hence, sir, it is based on this particular definition that are there. But as I said, sir, the, the lands that have been transferred uh, as per the uh, provisions that are there in the Act itself. Under those circumstances, I'm saying the violation is not there. Because, sir, if the violations are there, obviously, sir, for any violation that happens, the court and the judiciary is there where any uh, citizen can go and seek justice saying that this particular law has been violated. And hence, uh, uh, this kind of uh, case, uh, we have not seen and in any of the situations where cases have been put forward. Uh, in those cases, uh, you know, the, the uh, court has given orders and wherever the court has given orders, the state government has then implemented those orders based on the court order. So I'm saying it from a pure judiciary and constitutional and the law point of view, sir. Whether the, uh, the principle or the purpose of the act is not being implemented and concerns being there, sir, yes. I, I'm not trying to uh, say that there are no concerns, but purely from the act point of view and violation point of view, because if there were violations, sir, any individual is free to go to the court is what I'm saying. But nonetheless, sir, the, 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 I just want to clarify that part. So therefore, if there are any concerns like this, sir, everybody is free to go to the court and, uh, and the court, obviously, whatever verdict the court gives, uh, it will be implemented. But to look into it and examine on how we could uh, strengthen it or change things, that's a separate subject, sir. So therefore, that part, as I said, we will definitely examine that matter, sir. But my stand in the point of violation is not in terms of the principle or the purpose violation, but in terms of the legal violation and the constitutional provisions and the, uh, uh, the provision of the act that is there. In that term, sir, the violation is not there. Because pro the procedure has been followed, otherwise court would have come in, anybody would have gone for a, you know, a court case, and there would have been uh, an order from the court. So from that point of view. But from the principle and the purpose point of view, sir, uh, as I said, the concerns that he has raised uh, are there. And we will definitely, sir, examine this and uh, figure out how we should move forward. Sir. 
So uh, I'm still not satisfied as far as those, uh, since I've raised this issue specifically for those people who have purchased land in Riboy district. So what will the government do? Because the definition itself explained about the tribal pertaining to Meghalaya. And it is this very definition that some people are trying to misinterpret. You know, by citing that any tribal which is there in the tribal list of 1950. But the act itself speaks about the tribal pertaining to Meghalaya, which means only the Khazis, Garos, Kashri, and Rabahas has access. So, sir, what will the government do in order to prevent, to stop that uh, the purchasing of land in the Ripoi area? Yes, uh, so I'll just read out the line again. Uh, tribal means a person belonging to any of the scheduled tribes pertaining to Meghalaya and, there's an and to it, and as specified in the Constitution Scheduled Tribe Order 1950. So, so the provisions are very clear and based on these provisions, whatever is happening is happening. So the, the violation, as I said, if there, anybody is free to move to the court. So I want to segregate these two parts. So violation, sir, as per the provisions in the Act, as of now, uh, are not there. There's no violation. Otherwise, as I said, if there is violation, please can move to the court and court can take. Regarding reviewing it and looking into it and examining the whole purpose, I've said that I will definitely examine the matter and see what are the areas that are there and look back into it. But that is not part of this uh, uh, resolution as such because it's talking about the current land transfer right. Uh, you know, if the resolution had mentioned specifically that amendments and, the, you know, this resolution uh, resolves to amend the act in this, 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 this manner, then we could have discussed that aspect. But as I said, the violation. So I'm trying to be very, very particular with the words that have been mentioned. I am not saying no to the examinations. We will definitely examine. We have noted the concerns and we will see how to move forward. But whatever has been done right now, sir, is as per the provisions that are laid down in the Land Transfer Act, sir. So, so, I think when we read about uh, the provision of the law, we have to also understand that we have to need, we need to read between the lines. We need to read between the lines. When the, the definition about the tribal means a tribal belonging to any of the scheduled tribes pertaining to Meghalaya, then who are the tribes pertaining to Meghalaya? And as specified in the Constitution. Yeah, and I will come to that. And specified. And I have also explained what does it mean by specified. Specified is a person of specified. That means to uh, describe or explain something, you know, clearly and exactly. That means this, uh, the list of scheduled tribes order 1950. That means the Khasis and the Garus have been included, specified in that list. It does mean that all those uh, tribals enlisted in the list will be, in, you know, is pertaining to Meghalaya. If we take in that line, that means we are wrong, so we cannot uh, rectify. So we have to understand that when that word and specified, I mean, it's being specified in the list, which means the Garus and the Khasis has been specified in the list, not any other uh, tribes coming from other states. That is where, uh, you know, that is where people have been misinformed, misinterpreted. That they are getting the benefits on land, even in Meghalaya, which is not right if we go according to the observation of the Supreme Court, sir. So, therefore, sir, this we have to read between the lines in this portion. It means the list and specified. That means clearly explain and describe in the list, which means that the Khasis and Garus are included in that list. So, we cannot take all those uh, tribes in the list to be pertaining to Meghalaya. That is my contention, sir. So that's the interpretation that the court will have to do. I think for us to say that we'll have to read between the lines, uh, that's not uh, how the law will work. As I said, if there are concerns about this uh, definition of this, uh, the, the court can be approached. But uh, that is something that uh, I don't want to, con uh, to, to comment on because, as I said, interpretation uh, can be done in the court and anybody here has any grievances can definitely approach the court. But uh, as I said, uh, the concerns that he has raised, we can examine those concerns. Uh, so, uh, finally, what is the mind of the mover, please? Whether you wish to withdraw or not.
So this is a very serious issue, sir. And uh, we have, as I've told that we have lost large tract of lands in different forms. So I'm very, you know, concerned that if we don't put a stop and if we don't do anything, maybe the yeah. government can issue a public notice as far as the interpretation of this, uh, the word tribal is concerned. So I'm not, uh, say, sir, satisfied, so therefore, sir, I beg not to withdraw. Okay. <clears throat> Since the mover has not withdrawn his resolution, I will put the question before the House. The question is that those who are for the resolution say aye, those again say no, the no's have it, the no's have it, and the resolution is lost.